Nothing really elevates your work or grabs your audience's attention quite like a mock-up. Adding these mock-ups to your social media, blogs, or newsletters can really help your audience envision your services in the real world. Today, I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can use mock-up stock images. This video is brought to you by Hotstock, the visual content membership for women entrepreneurs. We help women-owned businesses and brands save time, stress less, and show up online with confidence using our carefully curated stock photos, our customizable templates, designer branding elements, and monthly marketing guides. I'm gonna show you three different ways that you can use mock-up stock images. The first being creating an inspirational quote mock-up, then I'll show you how to showcase a website on a tech mock-up, and lastly, we'll go over how to use a video to create a mock-up. A great way to incorporate mock-ups into your content strategy is featuring an inspirational quote, maybe on a piece of paper or a notebook or a mug. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is create your Canva canvas and drag and drop your mock-up image. Make sure to resize the image so that your mocked up element is going to be the main focus as well as easy for your audience to read. Next, you can type out your quote on top of the paper and make sure it's centered and also at the same angle as the paper. And then lastly, you can turn down the opacity on your quote to make it look more natural and less digital, and then download as a PNG and share with your audience to inspire or motivate them. Next up, you can showcase your website or if you have a new launch coming up for a new service by using a desktop mockup that features a screenshot of your website or a graphic of this announcement. You can take a screenshot of any of your pages on your website that you wanna highlight and use it as a jumping off point to talk about your services, about your company, your clients, or even a blog post. If you're launching a new program or webinar or really anything in your business, the best retail space to advertise is going to be your website header. So why not take a screenshot of that announcement header and repurpose it into a mock-up that you can share in a newsletter, social media, or on a blog. Once you have your screenshot saved, choose your image mock-up that features a desktop that will help highlight your screenshot. Again, resize your image. and then use a picture grid to create a rectangle where the desktop screen would be. Then drag and drop your screenshot, adjusting the sizing if needed. And then lastly, adjust the opacity of the screenshot if the contrast with the image feels too high. And you can save now as a PNG and share. So another way to use mockups is to combine video and a tech mockup. If you wanna get your audience's attention and really stop that scroll, then incorporating video into a static mockup will definitely do that. It's super easy to incorporate the two. First, you'll want to screen record on whichever device matches the tech in your mockup image. So because this one features a phone mockup, I recorded a reel we posted on Hotstock's Insta straight from my phone. But if you're doing a desktop mockup, then go ahead and record on your computer screen. Now I can create a mockup with this reel and post it on my Insta feed, Pinterest, or blog post and refer them back to watch the full reel. So now that I have my recording, when it comes to phone tech mockups, using a picture grid isn't your best option because the face of iPhones feature cutouts that are really hard to mimic. So instead, what we do is this easy hack, just grab a phone from Canva Elements that features a picture grid already, and then overlap it on top of the phone in the image and line them up. Now all you have to do is pop in your recording and then download as an MP4. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and want more marketing, branding, and graphic design tips, make sure you click the subscribe button.